Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. What are you doing? I'm tipping my cap to him, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to, I'm running out of ways to open the shows. I open them. Oh, but I kind of, I think people look forward to me more than you. Probably. I I'm not going to so. lie. I hope I so. Think... Please, 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 please. I feel like, let's see what Frank's wearing today <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, normal clothes. What are you, are you okay? What? Blue head to toe? What's going on? No, I'm just, yeah. Gray pants, though. But blue background, blue hat. You're really liking that hat. That's like a third day that you've worn in the last two weeks. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've seen I don't know. I just grabbed it because it's like the light blue and the light blue. Just wear more hats. Just get I more have hats. other hats. You just get, then just wear other ones. I, I, okay. You, it's not that hard. I matched. Too much. Too matchy, though. Yeah? Would you agree? Maybe. I saw your eyes dart toward my shirt. You were ready to start making fun of what I'm wearing. I was just going to say that you're not matching... I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a loose match. It's a loose match. No, it's not. What? Wait, with the shoes? The sh this whole outfit, Frank, it's all over the place. I highly disagree. I'm wearing a navy blue shirt. I can see that. A green hat. Correct. Greens and blues go together. What's with the bracelet, by the way? Is your daughter making that or something? Uh, yes, yes, actually. Well, actually, this one was made by my wife, but she, my daughter also made me one. And you left that one at home. <laughs> I just, I'm such a little like, you know, like. Oh, I have a question for okay, you. Okay, uh, your turn. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, Forget I started that. Everything. I'm canceling that turn. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, there was a question on TikTok. It was like, wife, daughter, mom. In what order are, like, what's the order of importance? Oof. Like, uh, uh, like overall importance? Yeah, just like if you had to rank them. You're asking me to upset all, like, you know. No, no, no. I, I think that they're. Personally, as because you have one of those things right now. <laughs> yeah. You have one that we know of. Maybe there's some little. There little, isn't. Yeah, you never know. A little Josephine's running around. Just going around. You know. Okay. <laughs> You've, you've upset um, me. I mean, importance. That's such a weird. No one's saying important. It's just like. Okay. Rank them. No, no, no. Like fuck, Mary, kill. No, no, no. <laughs> Ew, someone. It's a joke, Joey. Yeah, it is a full joke. Um. Okay. Let's say, like, rank burning house down. Who's in first? Who am Who I throwing people into the house? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what Who's I mean. Who's in first? <laughs> you gotta feed the fire. Someone's gotta go in. No, but it was like oh, right, I, I forgot how they proposed the question, but it was something like I, I, I get what you're saying. It's like when 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 you have all three as a man, what's where what, do they fall? Where do they fall? I yeah. think I, lo I love my mother. My mom is last. Of course, she's last. my mom is last. Of course, I, I love her so much. Unless you're Italian and you live in her basement, well, then they would say they, one. <laughs> Italians that's like, out of my fear. mother that's out my of mother. fear that's out of fear because their mother at the fucking age of 32 will still beat the dog shit out of them props 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 um mom is last i would say mm -hmm. I, I would say daughter first and wife would, second that's my saying that's my answer that's too. my that's my because i mean that's not discrediting becca in of any course. capacity but like first of all take your actual family out of this we're talking about hypotheticals here i don't want to actually I have this conversation <laughs> you want me to murder my wife <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. I know. It's just like, I like, and I, I've asked Becca this too. Like, who, who do you love more, me or the kids? And it's a different type of love, but obviously the answer is the kids. Yeah, and well, that's okay. Well, I don't think it's about love. I, I think know. it's a, like you have. It's like your fucking. I child. do it. It's a character I do. If I'm being honest, I play like hyper alpha male, bro. Oh yeah. It's like if you fucking like anyone other than me, I swear to God, like I, yeah. you will never send a text message ever again. I've seen some people who say like their mother first, their mother over their wife. I'm like, that's bananas. I think that's if I did super that, super bananas. If I did that, my mom would be like, "You're a fucking idiot." I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And also, your wife would be like, "You're a fucking course, idiot." I mean, yeah, definitely her. You know, like, I think like it's as your family gets. So I've learned like as your family, your immediate family gets bigger. It also gets smaller. You know what I mean? Like as your core, like you get married, whether it be to man, woman, however you identify, and then you have children. It's like it, it the walls close in. Like your importance, the, pro, the the most important thing is what's in those fucking four walls of your home. Yeah. And then you know, I'll I'll save not save you, but I'll save this. Save me. What no, 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 no. What hell? I'm saying is, I think that it's your child. Actually, I don't know if I mean what I'm about to say. I would say your child is first. Yeah. Not even just daughter, child. Until they're like 
30 and then you're switching back to your wife first. Mm, I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know. If I don't I know. I'm that. not there. I'm not there yet, obviously. Yeah. But like, I feel like you can't ever like the, the, the love for a child is so specific and so like fucking compact and like just, just, just like so dense and rich. That like you can't. <laughs> it's true. Like I don't know how else to explain it's describing it. Describing bread. <laughs> Basically, loving a child is like a really fucking Pound moist <laughs> brownie. <laughs> it's dense. It's rich. Yeah. You can't. Like I love the kids in ways I'll never be able to love Becca. Obviously, vice versa. God, I would hope so. Ew. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's too it's too much. I know. I, I thought it was an interesting question though because there is a wrong answer and it is putting mom first. I said Becca. I was watching a weird transition. I was watching Deadpool two the other day, hmm. and it, it, have you seen it? Yeah, it's good. There, yeah. You should watch them. The third one comes out in the summer. Uh, but. This guy working on the film? What are you, who's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, Third we, one comes Ryan out. Ryan Reynolds is currently on board to possibly be a big brand big sponsor. Big investor. Ma- and Hugh, Mr. Jackman. Hugh, Mr. Jack. Look at that. See? Listen. Give us your workout plan. Give us, uh, it's online. It's ridiculous. It's like boiled chicken five times a day, and it's like 60 grams of protein per... It's stupid. Um, 60 grams of protein is not that much. Per meal. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like six times a day. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. What are you... Po- big poops. Poops? He's, his ass smells so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the shittiest smelling ass. But I'm watching, I'm watching Deadpool 2, and without spoiling anything, there is a scene where someone talks to someone that is in the afterlife, and, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm getting emotional. I've been a big emotion, Frank, lately. Me too. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know either. I think this is how, like, Russia and China get us. You know what I think? I think it's the cuck lib soy boys. It is the cuck. They've infected us. It's and now we're... Too much veganism. <laughs> it, that's what it is. And now... Not cu- enough red meat, not enough drop shipping or stocks. Joe Biden is so invested in soy, and now we're all getting, like, super emotional for yeah, it. Yeah, That's how that's they do. They come for the men first. They, I've cried a lot this year, I'll say. Bro, I, I cried. I told you. I cried with the pacifier thing with Ruby. Yeah, well, that's a cryable offense. That it, would be it, a it mess. It was pretty cryable. But watching Deadpool 2, he's talking about, you know, meeting his... Someone is talking about meeting someone in the afterlife. And I'm getting emotional. And I said... I was like, it's hard for me to say this, but, like, I'm struggling with the idea that, like, if we die, like, we might never see each other again. I'm saying this to Becca. Mm-hmm. And I'm imagining she's going to be, like, sincere and sweet. <laughs> she shit on you? So I'm imagining she's going to be sincere and sweet. Like, at first, she's just like, yeah, well, like, you don't, you know, what do you believe in? And I was like, honestly, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm finding out I'm more agnostic. And she goes, I was like, yeah, like, I don't even know where we're going to be. And she goes, I know where I'll be. And I was like, am I going to hell? <laughs> is, that what you, is that what the big guy told you? Oh. She's like, I know where I'll be. Wow. And I was like. God fucking damn. Jeez. So I guess I now I need to get my soul saved. Oh my god, go to go to the south and get dunked in a river. If we do basement yard experience shows which I don't know, honestly they might be out, but if we do a show and it happens to be within the southern bible belt part of the United States, can we go to a, like a like You can't just do a walk in baptism for you can, dude. No, you can. Walk into a church and say save me. They're going to fucking roll out the red white carpet, whatever the carpets are for Jesus. I actually don't know. Bro, and then they're going to like fucking like blah, 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 blah. and you're going to be like oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> Yo, I would commit to the bits. Have so you ever hard. seen the video of the girl going <laughs> She's she's in like a one of those big churches and she goes, "I haven't had no sex." And then everyone starts clapping, and she's just like, and then she just starts running. Really? And running down the aisle. My yeah, favorite, like, my favorite clip that has ever come out of any of those churches, is the I'm not gay no more gay man being like, I'm not gay no more. I'm delivered. I don't like men's no more. I like women, 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 women. women, 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 women. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying it. it might be true, baby. Yeah. And on, then there was man. like an interview with him ten years after. He's like, I am. Happily married to a man. <laughs> Gay as hell. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she fucking, like, told me I might go to hell. Nice. You need that. Uh, do I? <laughs> it's like she keeps I, you honest. I, oh, you know what? You know, She's I, like, hey, get better, you know, or, like, uh, have actually, a, start getting a relationship. Well, you know what? Maybe after that line, maybe she's... Yeah, maybe she's below. Speaking of gay, uh, the whales are gay. So that's that, right. That's something that we just found out recently on Twitter. I was scrolling, and all of a sudden they're like, "By the way, humpback whales gay," and I was like. What? Finally. 
I told you it's in the water. Wait. Oh. Wait, do they have butts? Apparently. They, they were fucking gay fucking. Yeah. How do or you... just, just, let's just call it sex. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. It's gay sex. Right. They were like humpback whales for the first time in recorded history. Gay whaleness. Were being, were just fucking each other's butts. I'm going to look this up. So like, this is, this is, <laughs> I love this. Humpback whales caught enjoying <laughs> gay <laughs> sex romp. Got him. <laughs> We you were trying to do it in private, but we had a diver. Yeah, there. we got we and got he you. caught you two gay balls. <laughs> I just love like now. Yo. Yeah. 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 And it looks like a little look at that. A little interracial. <laughs> it's like two different like, shades of whale, dude. Gay inter this is I don't this think is whales have races. They just <laughs> have species. I'm being f comedy funny. I know, I know. Being comedy funny, fuck. Um, but yeah, it does look like we're knocking down walls, barriers, love, multiple here. Love this. So now, racial gay. Let's be honest. Shit sounds like some of the cooler animals we have on this planet are gay. Honestly, if I had to pick one of the species of whale to be gay, humpback. Yeah, there, sounds it's like a, broke back. It's, it's in the it's in the fucking name. Gay. It's in the name. Are it's you kidding me? Gay. But now, now we have confirmed cases of whales, dogs, gay. dogs. Uh, penguins. Weird. Yeah. But weird. I was getting on the elevator this morning when I had Charlie and there was a guy, he had a dog and he was like, and he, I was like, oh, is he like friendly? And he's like, yeah, he's friendly. Too friendly. He might be gay. I was like, the fuck? He I said, I know you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? This guy's outing his dog. His dog probably looked up and he was like, bitch. He's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, yeah, real friendly. Could be gay. I was like, what does that even begin to mean? Don't you hate when people try to be like hyper? They look at you and they think like now is the time to be like hyper bro. And they just think like, I, that, that drives me up a wall when they try to do like hyper stereotypical, like bro, bro code, you know, fucking like, oh, tits. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? New development here. I'm sorry. This is, this is, this is breaking news here. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news with the gay whales. A healthy adult man. This is what the caption is, dude. Okay. A healthy adult. Adult. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> A healthy adult male humpback was observed penetrating a weak and injured male humpback. Oh, no. I don't know if this is Oh, love. no, this doesn't sound... It doesn't sound like love. This doesn't sound... I mean, hey... It there, could be love. There are humans that engage in sexual you know, activities with injured other humans. I... Yeah. But when you define them as injured and weak, that sounds... That doesn't sound... Yeah, also weak and... In, like, now you're writing a... Porn title, you know what Ew, I mean? Little yeah. weak injured whale gets big, blowhole blown big, to bits. Big. <laughs> Little big. weak injured humpback gets blown to bits. <laughs> big hung humpback goes after innocent little tight blowhole. Innocent. <laughs> you might as well. Who wrote this? The fucking big hunky. <laughs> Big hunky humpback with large ding dong penetrates the blowhole of a little tight white barely legal humpback whale injured. Gone wrong. <laughs> Insane, dude. POV humpback cock. <laughs> humpback cock destroys blow the little hole. innocent little teeny tiny blowhole of an injured weak helpless bitch. This shit. This is journalism. This is New York Post. 2024 New York Post. There you go. Scientists believe that the healthy male may have penetrated the ailing male in a show of dominance. Damn. So this wasn't. This is a full on not love. It's so a it's male a, dominating male. Feels like a. a it feels it, it like. Said, a, don't 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 even say it. But it feels like something what else. Are, what, what is wine made of? Right, you know, just throw that out Fermented there. Fermented that, take away. We're one, on one, yeah. And then you got you know, it. the uh, that's what it feels like, and that's fucked up because I thought this was love. I don't, I, you know what? I was gonna be so happy for like gay love, and like <laughs> you know, like equality when it's like, see, like it's in nature too. Yeah, like it's in nature. All these people that are just like, it's not natural. It's fucking bing and bong. Yeah, no, it's in. <laughs> The real world, but now this is not. Now, once once the Bible Belt gets a hold of this, it's gonna be like, see, I told you what Biden's putting in that fucking water, him and the Clintons, 
They, cons- the they conspired to make sure that humpback whales and the frogs, Alex Jones, as minute he gets a hold of this, it's over. Yeah. The frogs are gay. <laughs> Scientists do not know if similar, similar sexual behavior would or has occurred between two healthy male humpbacks, but sexual encounters between same-sex pairs have been documented in a wide range of species, including other marine mammals like walruses, common bottlenose dolphins, killer whales, and gray seals. So, that's crazy. I I just walruses kind of look a little like a little hunky. like a bear, like you a know bear. What I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. like you little be... scruffy with big teeth. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Just like walruses yeah. are fucking wild. Though you ever see them fight? Do they, they fucking just t- tusk each other? What are those for? You can't chew with that. They 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 have to like hunt. But how do they use? Oh, they're it? also probably for defense because they're big chunky babes. Yeah, so are. you know there are some polar bears or someone out there like, damn, yeah. if I get a walrus, I'll eat for a week. Yeah, well, they eat probably a lot. longer. They yeah. eat a, well, no, they eat a lot. They eat like 600 pounds of food a day or some Holy shit. Holy fuck. I could, by, just so you know, just so you know, threw that number out there with <laughs> zero scientific backing. 600, it's probably insanely just, wrong. Just, what animal were you saying? A polar bear. Polar bear. How, How much do polar bears <laughs> eat a day? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm. I know that laugh. I am off, baby. O F F. said six hundred pounds. <laughs> what is it? Four and a half. There it is. Four and a half pounds of fat in a day. All right. Hey, listen. Sometimes you miss the shots if you're not dribbling and taking them. You know what I'm saying? That's not. It's that doesn't say, apply to you making <laughs> shit up. I could have been right, and you would have been astonished with me knowing that. 600 pounds is an insane amount. It's a lot of food. I don't know that you could, <laughs> anything could eat that. Uh, I mean, if you're like a blue whale, 600 pounds of krill. I get, they got huge mouths. They do. Dude, I went down a rabbit hole one day Yeah, you with just whales. look at big mouths? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, <laughs> big humpback gaping <laughs> mouth. Filled by little innocent tinky tweeny <laughs> krill. <Yeah. laughs> little crawfish stands no chance of its big whale mouth. Um, <laughs> no, no. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I, I saw Went a video. Went through a rabbit hole of mouths. Well, no, I didn't. But I saw a video, uh, <laughs> which I appreciated, but I was also like, why does this exist? It was explaining and like, it was like a cartoon showing what would happen if you found yourself in the mouth of a whale, like what would happen? You'd get swallowed. Yeah. And like, but like along the way and then like it described. Can you like, grab on anything? I guess you could try, but like. I'm it, scratching the whole way down. Yeah. I mean, do whales throw up? Probably not. Everything throws up. You gotta imagine. <laughs> do they? Yeah. If you got a throat. Yeah. If you got a throat, you throw. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they were describing like the tongue or whatever, and then like getting to the stomach and this would like, this acid would burn your bones. I don't know. Some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 No, you'd be like, <laughs> I watched it though. And I was like, not me. Like I'll get out. <laughs> no, you would No, you would not. Those I'd videos of people getting swallowed by like fucking whales. Kind of cool. For whom? This is why, this is why people that go kayaking on like the open ocean. Oh, that's insane. You deserve every, every bit of murder Bro, coming there's your way. some like. I believe very hot guy who's like in Australia or New Zealand or something. And he goes out in a car ca- on like a canoe, I guess, um, or a kayak that's see-through. Nope. And he sees all kinds of shit. No, nah, no, 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 no. And he sees like sea snakes, which why are you there? Yeah. Like be a snake. If you're going to be a snake, be a land don't do snake. this. Don't, don't. Yeah. Don't do this out in the fucking water with the shit. Um, but then also whales and like other animals and shit. Like it's, and he's just like out there with them. And I I'm saw like, I saw someone the other baked. day. I saw someone the other day posting a thing. We actually brought the kids to the aquarium last week, and I saw someone posting, and it was like them in a kayak, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is so cool!" And it's a family of orcas surrounding them. Fuck that, bro. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Because you are then, guess what? A treat. You're a little fucking dangly little beep, beep, beep. You're a little you're hanging you're a little in front of their bone. nose. You're that carrot on the stick in front. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are dead. <laughs> I don't know that expression. Never heard this expression like dangling a carrot in front of someone? Who's chasing carrots? 
I, I love carrots. <laughs> Wouldn't be hard to kidnap Frank. Just leave fucking carrots <laughs> all over the side. I was on Xbox last night, and we were, I was on there with someone, and they were like, you still on your like holistic journey? If you are, I got a great granola bar for you. I was like, fucking no. I'll stick to eggs. <laughs> and they were like, so what do you eat to snack? And I was like, carrots. And someone just comes in, and they were like, are you a fucking rabbit? <laughs> I love carrots, dude. Someone asked you if you were on your holistic journey? Yeah, because last time I had spoken to them on Xbox, we were just kind of sharing, like, you know, like, uh, healthy foods back and forth. Okay. It doesn't holistic not mean that? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I think, you know, just, like, healthy shit, you know? We're going back to the internet, baby. Holistic, babe. Holistic relating to or concerned with holes? No. Like, holes. Um, or with complete systems rather than with the individual parts. I know further now. Like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's not, that has nothing to do with what Holistic mean in simple terms. It means encompassing the whole of a thing. That doesn't make sense. And not just a part. Holistic medicine looks at the whole oh, person whole for answers. Oh, a whole with a W. Yeah. I'm thinking holistic with an H. Yeah, I'm saying whole. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wait. What? I'm saying holistic <laughs> is yeah. with the H. Yeah. But whole, when I say whole... It's W, like well, the whole thing. Yeah. So it's saying like holistic means encompassing of the whole Did I say holistic? I meant like health. Yeah, but that's, but I'm saying I don't think it's like health. What's the health word? I thought holistic was like spiritual healing or something. Oh, shit. I just thought it was just like, just pure, like pure and healthy. I don't, maybe. You might have heard of holistic medicine, which tries to treat someone as mind, body, Instead of treating only the part of the patient that is most sick. Okay. Gotcha. So maybe that could mean what you're saying. Maybe. I don't know. It's like if you... I got to be honest. We've gotten to a point in this conversation <laughs> where I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't care. But I'm trying to have an understanding what it means because I thought it meant like fucking like, you know, monks and shit. I Not don't monks, care. But like, you know what I mean? I have some questions for you now. Roger. I don't know if there is evidence of this stuff, but if you're going to pick three more animals to record being gay, to like help, like be like, yeah, see, being gay is natural. Yeah. Which ones you picking? They got to be cool ones too. I don't want to hear about like an antelope. Elephants. Love that. Love a, a big gay elephant. Tigers, tigers. I think cats have been known to be gay. Okay. Like lions. Are they? I think they're gay lions. Gorillas. I believe there's also gay monkeys. Well, I don't have a Rolodex of which ones have done. I'm just naming animals. Just, all right. So what was the first one you said? Elephants. That's a good one. Yeah. Sharks. Give me a gay great white. It's a rat for a straight. Yeah. A gate white. We do have sponsors for today as well. Uh, we have uh, Babbel. Okay. Babbel is the best way to learn a language. Okay. Uh, I've used Babbel all the time. All right. For Spanish because I'm trying to brush up on that. I just think it would be useful, but you know, I, I went to Europe one time. Everyone speaks 15 languages and I just speak American, American. See how dumb I am. Um, so, <laughs> but Babbel is a, a great way to learn a new language. You download the app. They like gamify it. They teach you how to actually use it like conversational, uh, conversationally learning a language and not just like, like a textbook that doesn't really help. Um, there's been studies, um, also coming out of like certain colleges that, uh, you know, I believe they said, like, I don't, I can't even see where it is, but it's like a certain amount of hours equals an entire semester. I think it was like 15 hours equals an entire semester um, at college. It's like very helpful. Um, I have some of my friends that are uh, bilingual and, and they've like used it and said like, oh, it's actually like, you know, pretty good. So, I mean, it, it, it definitely works. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I know there's a lot of you out there that probably want to learn a new language because a lot of us only know English and it's pretty boring. Okay. It's not even the cool English, like the British where they sound kind of cool. We sound not great. I'm speaking for New Yorkers here. Um, but with Babbel, uh, you can try it out. Uh, it's a special limited time for our listeners right now. You get 55% off your Babbel subscription, uh, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. Um, that is 55% off your subscription at babbel.com slash basement spelled B-A-B-B-E-L. 
dot com slash basement rules and restrictions may apply by the way studies are coming out of yale michigan state university um they said i got it right 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college so you're saving a lot of time and it's like fun you go on you play there's like these little exercises it's awesome so definitely go check it out and it's not just spanish there's a bunch of different languages if not all of them um uh, but yeah go to babble.com slash basement uh, to get that 50 55 percent off of your subscription, okay? Uh, we also have SeatGeek, and SeatGeek is where I get all of my tickets to any sort of show, concert, sporting event, you name it, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing SeatGeek, okay? And uh, when it comes to touring uh, the Basement Yard experience, we're hitting all these different cities, and we're gonna be using SeatGeek probably quite often, trying to hit a bunch of baseball games or whatever is available. Um, that's where we get all our tickets from SeatGeek, and it's great because on their, uh, if you go on the app, and you click on the thing you want to go to, it'll show you the stadium and everything's color coded. Uh, you know, the dark red ones and the red ones you kind of want to stay away from. Um, and the dark green ones and the green ones are like good prices for that ticket. So I like knowing that I'm getting a good price um, and there's some sort of transparency there. Um, they're the number one ticket, uh, number one rated ticketing app in the app store um, with over 28 million downloads, which is just wild. Um, and we can save you some money here. You will get $20 off of some tickets uh, for the, your first purchase uh, when you use the code BASEMENT, okay? So go download that SeatGeek app and uh, use the code BASEMENT for that $20 off of your first purchase, okay? Get out there, let the sun hit your face, and uh, enjoy, folks, all right? Uh, SeatGeek, can use that code BASEMENT, $20 off, enjoy. And then, babes, you know what you should do? Hey, call on me, teach. Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. And what, what, you know, what, 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 if for some reason you haven't heard me talk about this before, let me, uh, let me key in. Let me school you a little bit, okay? Well, Patreon is, you know, our page where you could support us. And how do you do that? By signing up. Sign up for that first tier. Well, we'll, we'll give you something in, 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 as a reward. You get these weekly episodes, ooh, 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 one week in advance. Then that second tier, you sign up for that. Not only do you get that, but then you also get. Bam! Exclusive episodes every single Friday. You can go from being a nobody to the MBB most ballinest patron. You know what I'm talking about? So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And if for some reason your teeny tiny little fingers are hurting, the P on your web, uh, you know, your, your keyboard isn't working, all you have to do is go to TheBasementYard.com, babes. You can go on there and that's the hub. That's our little hub. That's our big hub. That's where you can find everything to do with us. You can find our merch store. You can find links to the Patreon. And also you can sign up if it's not out at this point in time, and get newsletter information. That's right, emails about upcoming shows. Maybe we will be near you. Maybe we will be within, you know, a couple hours. You, you never know, but you want to check it out. Go to thebasementyard.com. Go to patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of our friends and patrons and people that continue to support us. Go check it out. Give it a gift to the Patreon. It's always a good gift to give too. Birthday ideas, what you going to do? Want to be a baller, shot caller, or a Patreon? Do that. All right, back to Joey. One day, one day I'm going to get you to go. That was good. I, think I, I feel like I have said that. Mm, I don't think so. I think I'd remember something like that. Oh, because yeah, it means so much. Don't, you're <laughs> not supposed to tell me what means a lot to me. I'm not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Um, by the way, uh, you know, I would like to talk about I don't know if you have seen it. I'm pulling it up. Uh oh, uh oh. But the video of the girl crying outside of the Taylor Swift concert. You know, I have. I've seen. I think. The, you, I hope you're nice about it because I feel it. like I'm not. You're not gonna be nice. Oh boy. I said that I'm not nice. I, just, I heard I this was a topic. Little... I heard this was a topic of conversation. I heard like I saw like a reaction to it, but I didn't see the thing itself. Are you pulling it up? Here's what's here's okay. What's is happening. it what background do I need to know? Give me back in background info. Give me the back. Give me back of it. I'll can I? <laughs> it's a girl who is like sitting outside. I think this was in like Australia or oh, something. Oh, okay. Um, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. You know what it is. When it's in um, certain places, you like if I were to say it was in Alabama, you'd go, oh, all right. I, I don't. You, know it comes to... with it comes with some baggage. I don't know how to interpret that. Um, but it was it was in uh. I think Australia or something like that. And the girl was sitting outside with her two friends, I think outside of the stadium because she couldn't go to it. Because, I I, you know, I heard that people do this. They can't get into the stadium, so they tailgate and they just listen to the music because it's so loud. 
which is like good, honestly I, good way smarter than going to the show dude when you go out to jones beach and if you're at the beach and there's like a day con- or i think maybe when they do sound check or something you can hear it perfectly from the beach i haven't been to jones beach in 15 years maybe honestly yeah. well learn something new she did cry pretty fucking hard and i'm just going to i'm just going to play it okay but no context uh, oh there was a song that came on that like meant a lot to her okay and uh she got emotional, okay. but she got emotional. Okay, all right. Let me let me hear this. I'm off. Hold on. Let me just play it. Oh, my volume's off. So I forgive me. Look at this to, podcasting have... 101. <laughs> this, there's the song. She doesn't know yet. You'll know when she knows. Sounds like Creed. Ready? <laughs> Not done. <laughs> Bro, I'm like getting emotional. That's an insane. I'm getting emotional. Yo, know, that's a wild reaction. And look, you can't, I'm not you can't do that. You set it up to be funny, bitch. <laughs> I, I, but I, like, what do you mean the song means a lot to her? The, you, that's all you know. The, I looked up because I was like, may I hope that I'm not gonna. You're gonna make offend, a, you're gonna get this girl. And so. No, no, no. I was I, I want to offend too much if it like there's something connected to it. But I also think that like that's a wild reaction for like any anything. Sort of, Connection, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I swear to God, when I heard that, that like in my heart is like if you find like a loved one dead on the floor, like after getting hit by a truck. Yeah, I, I was gonna say if you, if you watched with your eyes, one of your relatives get steamrolled and just flat. Oh, like li- literally steamrolled by a steamroller. By a, by a legit. Like that's like a reaction that I would have. That that is a hard cry. Like you, hard. That sounds like you ever see the the sound bit on TikTok, and it's like of it looks like a somewhere in Europe cop, and he's just like, no! You've never seen that shit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no what? What? That was in the United States. That was when Trump got elected. No, not the woman that was crying. It's like it's and it, it's like a oh, white guy. Oh, it's a reenactment. It's that a, guy. It's is it that guy? It's like a white guy, and his eyes yes, are like yes, yes. But like fucking popping out of his head. No, yeah, no. That guy does reenactments where he like pretends that his child has drowned in a pool, and he has his kid like this guy. pretend he's drowning. Don't leave me. That's. Oh, hoody, hoody, you know what? That, that's that's good that you said that because I thought I saw that and I was just like, who recorded this poor man in, in the most like from a tree? Yeah, from like, from a like, tree. <laughs> Like the most like emotionally charged. No, moment he of his makes life. these wild reenactments where it's like, oh, you just found your child drowning in a pool, and it's like, who's this for? Who, <laughs> bro? Who's this? Who's this I don't even for? want to put myself in the brain capacity to think of something like that. One thing I will say about this girl, I think that she's very nice, <laughs> right? Oh, uh, here we go. She's clearly. Here, this is this is no, the no, lead-in. No. She's. I'm sure she's really nice. No, no, no. T- she, torture. No, I'm not torturing anybody. Relax. Not torturing. Torch. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that either. Why, why do you go torture first? Like, I heard you said torture. I said torture. I thought you said torture. Uh, but I thought... I I, I'm, I hear songs and the shit makes me cry. It definitely happens. I don't know if I've ever cried like that. That's a that's a wild... Have you ever cried like that? And listen, t not, not Not... Let, maybe when I was a toddler and I was throwing a, a fucking s- fit. And I'm a sensitive bitch. I am... Right there. I am a, a, a full. I'm being honest. Finger on the emotional pulse here. Bro. I am a bitch. Full stop. Well, I mean, don't say that because then that is okaying people equating feeling emotions to acting like, you know, feeling lesser than. So stop that. How about you're in touch with your emotions, bitch? First of all, you just call me a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not in touch. I'm in bed cuddling. Yeah, you're, of my you're emotions. face fucking your emotions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. Your finger in your I'm emotions. reaming them, dude. Ooh. Um, but big, yeah. Big white Tampa. I'm big white, big <laughs> white baseball cap boy. Face fuck such hardship. <laughs> but my my own thing is I watch that video and I'm like, oh, I don't know. What you're yeah. Doing. 
Here's the thing, and you know how I, I've said this about other things in the past. It's staged. It's staged. I don't... It's staged. She claims that's, that it's not. Okay. They were filming, though. But you staged that for a very specific reason. You had to have known. You had to have known. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's staged. Like, it is staged. It is, it is staged. Like, that's, that's the part that gets me is, like, listen, you want to react that way. You feel so passionate about something. Whether, regardless of whatever the reason is, feel it. But then if you're going to record it and put it out there... That's where it gets. That's where the cynic in me takes over, Too, and I'm just like, that's where I think it's a little bit of bullshit. Now, listen, if this person wants to say like, I want to, you know, allow people to feel comfortable feeling their emotions, fine. That's that was a show. If that's why they put it out there, she claims it's not a show. I read her Rolling Stone interview. I skimmed Rolling through. Stone interview. Yeah, they did. What Rolling well, she Stone? Went, she went insanely viral because everyone's like, look at this fucking idiot, Adam like, Levine, uh, th the Rolling Stones, yeah, uh, Kim Kardashian. And this person. This girl, she's crying, yes. But they interviewed her, and uh, she just said... Because I was, like, looking it up to be like, all right, if this is, like, connected to something, like, really serious, then, like, maybe I won't, like... But, I mean, I think I was bringing it up regardless. But, like, I think, you know, whatever. At least I would know that going in. Like, okay, let's cut her some slack here. But, this and that. but in the interview, she just says, like, it's a song that means a lot to her, and, like, uh, it, like, helps distract her or whatever. And to be fair, she did say in that interview that she, like, also thinks, like, it's funny. You know, like, she's a good sport about it. That, like, good, look at me. I'm good. being a psycho right Good, good, good. I mean, I'm sure she just had to have thick skin. I don't even know what skin. fucking song it was. I've had to have—I'm sure she's had to have thick skin because people probably saw that and immediately started cyberbullying oh, her, which is wrong. Me. Don't do that. Unless don't. you're Joey. He could take it. I'm not— <laughs> loves taking it. I will just say this. First of all, I just said I'm very sensitive. I am full on in agreement. If something means that much to you, be have a connection with it. That's fine. That's wild. You're close. I have very strong connections to songs. None that would elicit that response. What would you do? I I'll be honest with you. If you had that reaction to something other than like the death of someone very close, because even one of your aunts and uncles, I'd be like, chill. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? It would have to be a very, very, very close relative. Or if you had some sort of Peter Parker, Aunt May, re like, relationship with your aunt, then, like, Spoiler, that's... brother. What? Spoiler alert. Spider-Man came out in 1901, <laughs> probably. We uh, know the story. I believe it's 16... Here's another spoiler. He's a photographer. <laughs> it's Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, 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 fair. Um, yeah, I would be a little... I'd get a little secondhand. I'd, I'd do, like, the rub on your back and just be like, Ch chill, chill. Yeah, like you'd get like a you'd get a moment of just like, oh, are you all right? And then it would immediately turn into like fucking stop. I'd be like, but just just this, right? <laughs> just <laughs> just shh, you're making a scene. You're making a scene. Like yeah, yeah. you know, it's I've I've heard I hate scenes. Bro, I hate I've scenes. heard toddlers react like that. Yeah, one of uh, Beck and I were still uh, were we engaged at the time? No, I think we were just still dating at the time. And we took uh, we went to a restaurant with Miles. I think it was for like her dad's engagement engagement. Uh, her <laughs> retirement party and uh, on the way he was such a nightmare at this restaurant Miles? yeah but like he was also old enough to know not to do stuff like you give kids a bit of a break because they're kids but yeah. like he was just like really really tough so we were on the drive home and he was just throwing the fucking fit to end all fits like just just, uh, just going nuts and I, I'm driving the car and he had this pack of Tic Tacs that his grandmother got him. Oh, please tell me what you're about to tell me. And he wanted them so bad. And she's crying. So Becca oh. is, I can see in her face because I, I'm sure you'll, if you don't already know this, you will learn this. Children screaming does something differently for men and women. Yeah. Children screaming for men. It's like an instant. It's like a, an instant of like, I can help. And then it's immediately like, you're fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah. For women, it's. All the time, like, nurture. I want to help. I wanna, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, nails on a chalkboard for them. Uh, and he's, like, screaming, crying. Just throwing, like, ah, like that. Because he wants Tic Tacs. No, because because we, we told him we were going to go to his grandmother's after the, uh, to the oh. restaurant. And then we said we're not because of how bad he was. What flavor Tic Tacs, by the way? It was a multi-pack. Green, huge. red, yellow. Orange, orange. Orange. Orange the, is the one. The best one. And uh, he's just, and I see Becca out of the corner of my eye. She's starting to fume. And she goes... Miles, and then it gets quiet, and she grabs the Tic Tacs, and she looks at him, shakes them, rolls down the window, 
launches it out the window. That's so so gangster, fire. bro. I I tell I always tell this story. She's a great mom. But I tell this story, and I'm like, I <laughs> fell so much harder in love with you that day because that was some thug shit. And he was it a full pack though? Full. God damn it! He screamed I'm like, I'm gonna like that because she threw them out no. the window. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like just fucking unloaded over Tic Tacs. Unloaded. Crazy. It was fucking. It was great. But that's the, that. Like that as a toddler. Yeah. That's an appropriate response. This is a fully that's grown. A, that's a grown woman. It's fully grown. Well, I don't know how old this person is. So She's I don't 20, say I believe. Okay. Then kind of grown. Full, I would say. Close to full. I mean. 90% full. Women women mature at different rates than men do. Would you have quicker. Called, well, yeah, way quicker. But also, <laughs> would you have called yourself fully mature by 25? Hell yeah, no. I would have said that. I would be ton, tundry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You would be done tree. What the hell happened to you? Where'd you go? I'm trying to see. Totally. <laughs> I would be done tree. Bro, and you like set yourself, you were like, bro, I would be a tundry. <laughs> I said it twice, I think. <laughs> What is wrong with me, man? No, totally. I'd be totally wrong. Yeah, but exactly. Think, and at fucking 15, I was probably like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm yeah. <laughs> an idiot. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Is there any song? What's the closest a song would have to re- having you react that way? Chain Hang Low by Jibs. <laughs> no? Maybe you, bud. No? No, not Knuck me. if you buck freestyle rap from Lil Wayne. Don't say it's a rap from Lil Wayne and sound 400 years old. Seriously, what is a song that if you throw it on right now, it'll it'll get you teary-eyed? Give me a minute to think about that. But we do have some more sponsors for today. Bingo! Uh, we, have <laughs> we have BetterHelp. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy. If you want to do therapy, I think you should. Even if you don't, I think you should anyway. Uh, because I think that it's helpful for everyone. I think everyone should be doing it, especially in the current climate of the world, okay? Uh, I've been in therapy for a couple of years. No shame in that. Get in there. Talk to your therapist. Maybe leak some tears out of your eyes every once in a while. It helps. Trust me. Uh, but yeah, uh, with BetterHelp, uh, you can start talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours. You make it very easy to switch from therapist to therapist to find the right fit for you. And it's very affordable when you compare when you compare the prices to like in-person therapy, that is very expensive, especially if you don't have the right insurance. So on top of it already being, uh, you know, more affordable than in-person therapy, we're going to save you some money here. Okay. If you're going to go to the, you're going to go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard today, and you'll get 10% off of your first month. Okay. That is betterhelp, uh, B E T T E R H E L P.com, uh, slash basement yard to get 10% off of your first month. If you've been looking for a reason to jump into therapy or to start doing therapy, here it is. Here's your sign. All right. So go do it. Uh, and lastly here, we have prize picks. All right. Football season may be over, but we got a lot of stuff coming. Okay. Uh, we still have, uh, the NBA. We still have MLB NHL. There's a lot of sports coming. March Madness is right around the corner as well. Um, but with prize picks, all you have to do uh, is put together these lineups where uh, it's anywhere from two to six uh, players, and you are competing against the projection. So you're going to, uh, you know, the prize picks projection is usually, you know, something like, let's say March Madness. There's a certain player that plays for a certain team, um, and are they going to have more or less than eight and a half points so that's all you have to choose is more or less than the projections and then you put a couple of those together and you can win up to 25 times your money okay folks um and you can also play alongside some of prize picks favorite players like meek mill uh sugar sean o'malley uh you can uh, now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week so it's a lot of fun a lot of my friends play it they love it i've played it a bunch of times i love it as well i think it's a lot of fun um, and it's easy to understand. So if you don't know a lot about, you know, sports or any of these a- fantasy apps or anything like that, this is just more or less against the projection. You're not playing against any other pros or anything like that. It's just more or less than these projections. So it's very easy to understand, and can, it's a lot of fun. It makes watching sports 
more fun. Uh, and you can download the app today and use the code BASEMENT for a first deposit match up to $100, okay? That means if you put in $100, they'll put in $100, and you have 200 to play with. Um, and it's not just 100 You put in 20 they'll put in 20 You got 40 to play with. So it's just like that. So uh, download the app. Use that uh, code BASEMENT to get that to first deposit match up to $100. Enjoy. And uh, So my question. Yeah. What were you asking What me? song... Is the one that would like get you the closest to having an emotional reaction like that, if any song? Because that's that's a that's a big that's a big task. The song from Toy Story. Oh, the fucking Sarah McLaughlin. When somebody loves you, everything was beautiful. That shit. That shit gets you. But like, if I just hear the song, that's one thing. When but to watch the video, it, when you see of the doll being like, "You're where," and then she gets so excited. Up. I kid you not, I'm getting goosebumps. Nah, bro, I could, I could. She's getting so excited because she puts her hand down to look for it. Yeah. You ever heard the conspiracy that that girl was Andy's mom? Because at the end of the movie, oh, yo, my whole body just lit up. Right at the end of the movie, why do you start with your nipples there? Did I? I went like this. You, you say you're like my whole body. First of all, my nipples aren't there. Mine are. Oh, your thumbs. I would go like this if anything. Well, you just brought your fingertips to your thumbs. Well, I wasn't doing that. But the 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 conspiracy is that at the end of the movie, because she has like a like the girl has like similar attributes. Like you know, I mean, granted, they all kind of look the same in Toy Story, the human characters at least. But she has similar attributes to the girl like that had Jesse. And then at the end of the movie, when Jesse's like super happy, her mom is just like, "Hey, I had one of those growing up." Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. I got two songs I could think of that get that me- shit makes me mad, sad though. Like dogs, not dogs. What am I saying? Like the <laughs> the, the, the 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 toys when they're like, "Oh, you don't want to play with me anymore." Nah. And remember we talked about the Toys R Us thing? We're like, oh, I guess there's, uh, no, I can't, I can't, there's I can't. no more Toys R Us kids. They're all grown up. Bro, no. I almost cried. Chill. I kid Chill. you not. I almost cried about like two weeks ago because I was, Maeve was sleeping, which I was very happy about. And then Ruby and Miles were sitting on the floor playing with Megazords. And I just look over and I was just like, God damn. Yeah. And then on the TV was a Spider-Man show that Ruby loves to watch. And I was just like, fuck yes. But two <laughs> songs, two songs that get me there. Okay. Uh, well, all right, two songs and apart from a movie, because yours was kind of more about apart from a movie. But like yeah, yeah. the opening to Up, <clears throat> Sun, Stab, Turn, Turn, Up, Down, This Way, That Way, it guts me completely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's nothing left. My no. insides are on the floor. Old people s- fucking kills me. I could stare at an old person and cry. Really? For some reason. That's kind of fucked up. No, like when old. No, no but like, oh, this poor fucking old bastard. No, but like, especially when they're upset about something. Like, old people being upset, like, murders me. Like, that's like in my top three. Yeah. Some, like, an I, old person being like, oh, I just. Don't I, you know, know I, I look like, at a lot nah. of them. I look at a lot of them and just go, oh. Where were they during the civil rights movement? You know what I say? You yeah, know, where, I mean? were you like, on the where, right where, side where, of history? Which side were you on? I don't want to be sad yeah. for a fucking racist. Yeah, were you? <laughs> Two songs that get me there. You ready? One, <clears throat> Vienna by Billy Joel. It's a great song. Gets me. And you Slow know what? down, you're doing fine. You know what gets me even more about that song? And I, I'm going to like seriously like try not to get choked up talking about it. Is I looked up what the song means. And Billy Joel said that like his dad always envisioned retiring and going and living in Vienna because apparently in Vienna, it's like, as an old person, you just like sweep your lawn and you just live a happy life. And like the story, the whole song is about like, just like enjoy like your youth, like slow down. Like Vienna is going to wait, like your, your happiness, your retirement will wait for you. Oh my God. gets me every time Two, recent edition. It's a good song. Not really. It's been out for a number of years, but, um, uh, fuck. What's the name of it? Uh, it's the it's from the new A Star Is Born, not Shallow. It's the one that I'll always remember us this way. I don't know that song. Oh, <clears throat> the Arizona sky, bing bing, burning in your eye, bing bing. You look at me and babe, I wanna get on fire. Let her go used to make me cry. Let her go. Which one is that? Um. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Get the fuck out of here. It hits me sometimes. What, what, oh, tell me what Daughtry song made you cry, you fucking dweeb. Also, Fix You by Coldplay. That shit used to get me, too. Fix You? Lights will get... You don't remember that? No, I don't remember that one. It was like in like the 9-11 movie. I got... Jesus, Joey. 
But I saw a TikTok the other day. You see this TikTok trend where people would just be like, describe the you you the ultimate. You just had to be there to get it. And someone said, and someone sw- it was a swipe, and it was just nine eleven. And I was like, that's so fucked up. But I love when people like say like, oh, the song Imagine by John Lennon. I'm like, that song sucks. No, that song is great. But <laughs> no, it's not. I will say this: Gal Gadot ruined that song. Yeah, of course. She, but like, yo, Imagine was like. That's, I guess this is a hot no, take. That's a good song. It's not a bad song, but it's like the way that it's revered. I'm like, it's not that crazy to me. I, I, I don't think agree. John Lennon wrote a better song. I, I mean, name, an, name another John Lennon song he wrote that's better, Joey. Frank, I have other things to do <laughs> Joey, right now. Joey, name one. I just feel like he wrote another one. Which one? No. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I just think that when Gal Gadot and Kristen Wiig and other celebrities try to put out this heartfelt thing on social media at, during COVID, when people are fucking losing their family members, and the first thing, the first thing, I understand what the song is about, the first thing that Gal Gadot looks in the camera and says is like, imagine there's no heaven. And it's like, come on, Chill, Gal. Yeah, like, come on. Chill. Come on, Gal. <laughs> your name's not Gal. Gal. Can't be Gal. Gal. Short for Gallant. <laughs> Gallon. Her name is Gallon. I look was looking up, up like Look it up, look it up. Songs. What's Gal's first name? I'll say Gal Gadot. Come on. Hmm? It's it's Gal. It's all just right. Gal, huh? It's just Gal. She's Israeli. She's Israeli. She, she was Miss she, Israel. She was, yeah. And she was also like a special forces. There's some there's some stuff about her political affiliation. Maybe we shouldn't get into it, but you know. But they all if you're an Israeli woman, but, you have to serve in the IDF. I know, no, no, but she like made her way through the ranks. Sneakily? You know, I'm not going to sit here and pontificate on it. Oh, you're throwing one of those words out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. looked up lo- songs that make people make like that make you cry and like none of them are really that good. Dude, but that that song from Stars Born, listen to it when you get the chance. Cuz it's just like right now like where we are in our life, I'm going to remember this. Like I'm going to remember us like just as we are right now. And there's a part of the song where she's like uh fuck i can't remember it but it was like i've cried to a lot of noah khan songs which i know you don't know who he is but i don't i don't i'm sorry i'm not yeah. discrediting him i just think you're an idiot not he's him. incredible uh but like and i'm all choked up and i can't find the words every time you say goodbye baby it hurts and it's just like ooh. Oh, no. and then there's one part where she's like a part of me that's you will never die and i'm just like crisscross applesauce shoot me in the fucking asshole and like, <laughs> Just kill me right there. You know, there's another song by John Mayer called You're Gonna Live Forever in Me. That also made me cry. Oh, I need to hear that. It's a good one. Because, you know, like, I, I want to, ha- I have music that reminds me of, like, my family, you yeah. know, and, and I ha- I'm trying to put together, like, a playlist of all the songs. I'm still trying to find one for Maeve because she's been a hard, hard yeah, one-year-old. Yeah. I mean, you know? give it some time. Give it some time. When she goes away to college, you'll cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like... You know, got my song for Miles, Ruby, my mom, Becca. You know what's you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna cry the most for Maeve because she's the hardest. <sighs> like you're gonna have this like thing where it's like she's she's put you through like hell or whatever the fuck, and then eventually you're gonna be like you're gonna look back on it like way more fondly than now. And I think it's gonna make you I don't cry. Know. All I, don't the know. Time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But it's gonna, you know, I, I, I'm very excited for you to have children because I'll just be crying. The love, the, like it, it, there's physically. I know there's a Greek word for it, but like you cannot. <laughs> the word love just doesn't fit. Agapimo. But like, <laughs> no, there's like, there's like philo, philia, and stuff like that. Like there's, a, there's different words of love in the Greek language. They mean different things. Like one is like romantic love one is brotherly love one is like familiar love one is like children love i am like well where do you think the word pedophilia comes from lover of children (laughs) you don't remember that in sasha baron cohen's show we are america and he's like we want to take this word back and he's just like i am not fucking doing that (laughs) (laughs) that that is the craziest thing i've ever seen in my entire life. that show yeah it's pretty that was wild also, I mean, this isn't really funny, but I, I just kind of want to bring it up because you just, uh oh, you said the word pedophile. But I saw this video and it's so fucking disturbing, and I kind of just want to say it just so I guess people kind of keep this in mind. I don't know. There was a TikTok account that it's like this little girl. Uh oh. And uh, do I want to hear this? No, there's nothing crazy that's happening. Um, nothing happened to her. But you like, can't you can't go from talking about. Well, it, it kind of goes with that. So, oh, like, boy. there's a TikTok account where it's, like, this girl and her mother. 
and she's like this cute little girl and she's probably like four or something like that and there's all these like videos that she posts about her and they have mad followers and shit and there are certain videos where there's something like just a little off you know like there's a, a video like if you go on the page and you scroll there, there was a video of her holding two apples like this the little girl and that one has like a bunch of like saves and then like the comments are like dudes so it's like you know what i mean like you don't know, see what i'm saying uh, here? I, I there's will, a lot of that let me going explain on. to you i will go to prison i will for, i'm not kidding for dismemberment L- on literally. live tv literally i will cut your head off i will like and, and i don't care you know i get i get so like 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 there's uh, like those tiktok accounts that are like the like the People that like pose as like 13 year olds and they go and they find these people and they're all like, please don't ruin my life. And it's like, you deserve right now to Dude. just get the worst thing to happen. And also, to you. this girl's like four, bro. Murder. And it's like, you're like, ew. And all like, right. there's like these random comments and shit and like whatever. Not like that. Like, there was a comment from a guy, I don't know, remember some, some guy like wrote something and then someone said, why are you here? And then. That was a guy who said that. And then that dude replied, same reason as you. And I'm like, ew, bro. All right. Bang, 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 yeah, yeah. bang, 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 bang. We can't, we can't end on this. We can't end on this. All right. Have I got a, a good week. I got a, no, 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 no. We can't end on I got a question for you. If you can have your dick and balls taste like one candy in the world, what would it be? Skittles. Ooh, what color Skittle? You can't have them taste like all the Skittles. Hmm. You know what? No. I would have them taste like a lemon ice. That probably tastes like sweat. It's like sweaty and gross. No, lemony. It's like it. You want lemony, lemony fresh dick? Yeah, like a, like a. Ref, it's refreshing. No, no, no. You no. know, when you drink. You drink like a really cold glass of water. Yeah. And it's like infused maybe with some fruit. Okay, okay. And it's okay, like okay. ooh, or like a seltzer that's like you know. Okay, yeah. So like that. So that's why I'm saying like a lemon ice. It would be like refreshing. Saying watermelon big league chew. Gum. Hell yeah. You want your dick to taste like gum. It wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, how did you dig that out of your... Well, you had to dig us out of the pedophilia. Uh, yeah, well, there it is. You yeah. brought the word back up. Love that this show, this episode got demonetized. Euphelia. That it... There are people named Ophelia. Ophelia. What a... What does it mean? Just love? Ophelia? Oh, shit. You know... What does the word Ophelia mean? What is the word Ophelia? Also, I don't really love when people know what their name means, to be honest. And I'm not really crazy on that. It's like, oh, my name's this, and it means, like, king of gods. And it's like, you work at a store. Oh, wow. Like, I don't... Ophelia is a Greek girl's name meaning help. <laughs> <laughs> Ophelia! Help? It says help, aid, or advantage. Interesting. Best known for the tragic heroine in William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Although Ophelia's story is heartbreaking and poignant, the name also represents beauty and selflessness. I guess. Uh, I like to think it means help. It's a good Lumineer song, too. I'm sure there's a song of theirs. Noah Kahan, fucking uh, 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 Lumineers, Coldplay. I like that. Just give in. I like it. Just give in, brother. what? Where's that puka shell necklace that you took off? It's not puka shell. It means I'm going to go live in the woods and wear wooden shoes. Bonnie Vare, I'm sure you listen to also. Not really. Yeah, I bet you do, you sleepy bastard. Sleepy? Yeah. I do like music, though, like that. That makes me feel like like, like in front of a fireplace. Oh, yeah. You know what I like to listen to in front of a fireplace? Bow wow. Don't. (laughs) Crackling fire. Love that. Love it. When it just, fu- <laughs> when it just randomly just, like it fucking. That was incredible. That the second one sucked. The first one was in- amazing. Don't try to recreate it. Damn it Go out on top. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I remember when I was on that trip in in Washington. There was one fire that I went to. The the wood was so dry. Cracky. This thing wouldn't shut up. <laughs> the I wood was on talk- fire. Oh, I <laughs> love a talky fire, dude. I was like, this thing's pop. Oh, I love that. I have a video. I don't. I don't care to the level of watching a video. I apologize. I just want, I apologize. I just want I apologize. you to know. I I believe and trust your story. Yeah. I don't need validation, Joey. I got it, yeah. Okay. Just don't say it again. Um. <laughs> but a crackly fire. I do one that spits at you every now and then. I like, just like that. Pew, and then like you, can, you fucking, can see it. And you can see it like fucking fire off like an old like fucking like a Lord of the Rings like. <laughs>
Like a flare. Flaming Like, like someone boulder. stuck in the fire and trying to get out shooting a flare. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you ignore it and you let it burn. Well, what the fuck? You know what I mean? No, that's what I mean. No, wh- that was kind of dark. I know. Uh, but it's not real. But it's imagined to be real in your head. I don't know, but like... No, you know. I don't. Oh, all right. And staring at fires. Dude, a level of like... Cl- you experience a level of clarity staring at fires that you just can't find anywhere else. Also, the heat from a fire is unlike any other heat. It's not hot, but it's... It's hugging it, me. It is. Like, it, like, I could feel... Like, if I'm looking at a fire like this, I could feel it like tickling my back. I, but like, I, it's like a little like back tickle. Or it feels like someone's just like... Mm. Yes, yes, yes. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. But like... Like an like a heater is like heater is just like whack. <sighs> yeah, it's like someone's blowing a hot. fire like, is just like and it comes around. Yeah, you it and comes it, around. It's like a big fat guy it's just like, like well, laying well, on well, you. Well, well, you had to make you had to give it a gender, Joe. I don't no. want to be hugged by some just random big man. Uh, if he's fire, I'll take it. I don't. Know. I've been hugged by like a, a fire before, so all right. I like that feeling though. And bonfires being outside, it's like ooh, I'm cold, but my feet are hot. Oh, I like that. Yeah. When was the last time you roasted a marshmallow? A week ago. On a fire? Hell yeah, brother. Where? Backyard. Oh, you got a fire pit. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Fucking did I. How many did you eat? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum, and they were the fucking Hershey's, big, Hershey's, Hershey's, Hershey's. Oh, they were the big assholes, the big like big fat, big mamas. fat, big dumps. Yeah, <laughs> big dump of a marshmallow. Oh, you got the okay. Yeah, oh, but you can't do the little ones. People that do just the singular one. No, I want the big dump ones. I can't really eat that much marshmallow though. Oh, I, I'm like I love marshmallows. It. I'm like over it. Especially a like I want one that's like like coming out like looking like fucking burnt to a crisp. Yeah, yeah, I want that too. I want it to be like melting all over my hands, yes. burning, burning my fingertips. I want to take the like la- first layer of skin off, and then there's just that ooey gooey. Let me <laughs> ooey gooey. Do you put it on a stick or yes. do you put it on a like a pike? I like putting it on a stick because it's like I'm eating the. Because earth. I'm, I'm earthing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I feel like there's a level. It's a little of, dirty. It is. It is a little dirty, but also like. You know, maybe that's why I don't get colds as often as everyone else that I know. Probably not. You know? Uh, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this episode of The Basement Yard. Frank, where can I find you? If Alvarez 8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on all the forms of social media, and then go check out the page. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. The Basement Yard on all forms of social media. At TheBasementYard.com. So much. So much goodies for you, bitch. You can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at t- on TikTok uh, at the Bismuth Yard, TikTok and, and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah! Don't do that. All right. <laughs>